Welcome to the Raise Your Energy podcast. My name is Linda Lange and I'm your energy and emotion expert. And today we talk about emotions. I ask you the question, how do you feel about being burnt out? Or how do you feel about another diagnosis or life altering change in your life? And if you're honest with yourself, you probably feel negative emotions about it. Am I right? And I tell you that this is a good thing. Find out why in this episode. Let's go. The headline and question of this episode is, how do you feel about being burned out? Not how do you feel about burnout, and I'm not asking you to tell me how you feel in general while being burned out. I'm explicitly asking the question like this, how do you feel about being burned out? Now, if you're not burned out, fantastic. I am so happy about every single person on this earth who can say wholeheartedly that they are not burned out in one or several areas of their life. So happy for you. But if you have a suspicion or you are already sure that you are burned out or have been maybe in the past, then what I'm going to share with you today is a fundamental part of your recovery and for you to actually leave burnout behind once and for all. And this applies to any life impacting event or diagnosis in your life, not just burnout. Accepting something that has a life altering impact brings up a high level of emotion, a high, high, high level. <laughs> I remember sitting in that doctor's office and it was the first time that I actually said the words out loud. I think I am burned out. And the acceptance and that reality that suddenly hit me made me immediately burst out in tears. The emotions that I suddenly felt overwhelmed me. And this might be as well a case for you when you think about your diagnosis of burnout or anything else in your life. And I want to share with you straight away, this is a good thing. Let them come up. Let these emotions arise in you. And the worst thing you can really do in this case when they do come up is deny them, like you might have denied yourself from accepting that you are burned out. The emotions of this journey, of this recovery journey that you probably want to have are part of it. So please let them be what they are and give them the space that they deserve. And we will talk soon about how you can actually do that. In episode 20, I go into high level detail on what we usually do when we are faced with strong emotions, especially when it's a kind of emotions that we classify as negative or uncomfortable. But in a nutshell, we are trained from the time we are born and we will learn to do all of this with the negative emotions other than actually feeling them. We ignore them. We numb them, we try to manage them away, even if it is through some really good mindfulness practices like meditation. We hide them from others, we redirect or channel them, all of that energy channeling into something else, or we live in denial or even mislabel those emotions. So listen to episode 20 if you want to find out more about all of those different ways that we use what we learned to deal with those feelings. All of those forms of dealing with our feelings can really just work for a certain amount of time. Some just work really just for a few minutes or an hour until the emotion comes back. And some can work for years or even decades. In the end, we are harming ourselves through the denial of those feelings because we are not dealing with them or living through them. And that is absolutely normal. Don't judge yourself if you're doing the same. I have been doing the same and sometimes I still do the same because we have never learned how to do it differently. We have all been taught these other coping mechanisms because it seems to be easier and less painful in the short run. But if you think about it, we create so much more pain in the long run. 
Another way of dealing with those emotions is to express them to others, to the people that are in our lives. But sadly, that is creating even more harm than the other coping mechanisms. Expressing the emotions onto another person is not releasing the emotion in the way we want to. So it's not resolving the emotion being inside of us and it usually hurts the other person and your relationship with them. Examples of those are anger can turn into aggression, insecurity turns into control, dislike turns into hate, frustration can turn into rage. Do you see that the first, the initial emotion, is a more internal and the second one is a more external version of the first one? The problem with doing it to another person is that you will create other emotions afterwards, like guilt or shame or disgust about yourself and what you've just did, all due to you acting out your emotions onto another person. So what is the solution then? What can we do now to start releasing and transmuting those emotions inside of us in a more healthy manner? To accept and acknowledge an emotion is to give it space and to give it attention. You can sit with the emotion and actually just let it happen. This might sound a bit weird and it might not work straight away, but you will get better at it with practice. So next time you experience a negative emotion and you have the chance, take yourself out of the current situation or maybe you are already outside. Go into a room where you can be alone and just sit down and let the emotion happen inside of you. And that could even mean crying. Your body might shake from the energy of the emotion. You will for sure feel the emotion doing something, moving around inside of you. Or you might want to yell. Everything is okay. And it helps the emotion to finally get its chance to be what it is, and then transfer into a new state of energy. Don't try to make it bigger than it is. Don't try to analyze it. Let it be. Let it flow through your body and just be with the emotion. Feel that energy in your body moving around. A good idea is to actively breathe through the feeling of the emotion. Because breathing consciously will help the emotion not to be too overwhelming and help it to pass through you. And focusing on your breath while processing the emotion helps you as well not to get lost in that emotion and keep thinking about the emotion. It keeps you in the present moment instead of sinking into that scenario of what caused the emotion to begin with. That's not what this is about. It's about feeling the emotion and not analyzing or thinking about it. So now that you know what to do with the emotion, coming back to my initial question, how do you feel about being burnt out? The reason why I shared all of this with you is that we can face many different unwanted emotions when we are faced with a life altering diagnosis like burnout. And these emotions are part of your recovery journey. Many shy away from those emotions, which is completely understandable, but that means not even fully accepting that you're burned out. That is one way to hide from those feelings. Makes sense, right? Another way is to use those coping mechanisms that we've just reviewed. And even if that means that you do fully accept your burnout, you are missing a significant part of that recovery journey that is so instrumental to overcoming burnout once and for all. I know this can all sound a bit scary and deep. Well, yes, it is deep work, but really the choice is yours. Are you willing to learn how to process your emotions or do you want to keep living with the consequence of not being able to overcome burnout or any other diagnosis that you face? From my own experience, I can tell you that it's worth it. 
It will not only help you to overcome what you are currently want to overcome or resolve in your life, it will help you to become a more whole person. You will realize that parts of you were missing before and now you finally start to integrate them and feel more like yourself, like a whole person. Thank you so much for watching this video with me today. I hope you got tons out of this and can actually now wholeheartedly ask yourself the question, how do you feel about being burnt out? Make sure to subscribe to this channel for future episodes and leave me a thumbs up if you liked this episode. Thank you so much. And with that, I love you and leave you. Talk soon and bye bye.